Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you one of my favourite easy puddings and it is an STP, that's a sticky toffee pudding. <laughs> Tear 150 grams of my jewel dates into small pieces. A teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and 500 mils of boiling water. Pour this in on top of the dates and allow them to steep and soften while we get on with the rest of the cake. Now for the batter part of the cake, or the pudding I should say, this is more of a pudding than a cake, I have 150 grams of very soft butter. It's best to use a very soft butter because that way you can get away with just using a wooden spoon. And I have 80 grams of really good dark Muscovado sugar. This cuts slightly the richness of the STP as it is a very sweet pudding, but using so much dark sugar, the rich molassesy flavour of it balances the sweetness slightly and then I just want 40 grams of regular caster sugar. I'll just give that a quick mix together, cream it together. You see how quick and easy that is with very soft butter. Perfect. So that's creamed together so I just need a couple of eggs now and these are best need to be at room temperature as they always do when baking. And just mix them into our creamed butter and sugar. Now we can set this aside a moment when we get on with our dry ingredients. For the dry ingredients, all I require is 180 grams of plain flour, 2 teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of fine sea salt. Give those a quick mix together to make sure everything's evenly distributed. And bring back my wet. Tip my dry ingredients into the wet. And a quick stir together. Again, just use a wooden spoon. all combined. Just set that aside a moment. Grab my dates. Now they should, by now, even though it's been a brief submersion, they should have softened. And I do need this liquid as it will be the basis for the sauce, so I'm going to just drain the, these. Slight 
squinch to break them down slightly further. And don't worry, this isn't like a fruitcake. You'll hardly know these are in here. They just add to the richness and the depth of flavor in it. And in these go to my batter. Another quick stir together. I probably should have mentioned earlier on, but this sticky toffee pudding is cooked in the slow cooker. It takes three hours and it's fantastic for the likes of a Sunday lunch when your oven may be occupied with the lunch itself. This can just sit in the background in your slow cooker and take, it takes care of itself. And it's quite a radical pudding, as you'll see why in a moment. So I'm going to just tip my cake batter into a greased, the greased bowl of my slow cooker. I just greased it with a little butter and I'll just switch to a spatula here so that I get every last bit of this batter out. so it's as flat as you can get it. I can't help it. <laughs> and that ra radical stage I was on about earlier on, this is it. So I just sprinkle over 50 grams again of dark sugar. I have 25 grams of butter that I'm just going to break into little, no, little pieces to dot around the top. And then the 500 mils of hot water that the date's steeped in, I'm just going to pour that in. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, <laughs> on top of my cake. Trust me, it takes a leap of faith but what you'll end up with is the most tender, wonderful sponge, or like a steamed sponge with its own molasses rich sauce, which is fantastic. All you need to do is give this three hours on a high temperature in your slow cooker and pudding will be ready. free to get on with, with whatever else I need to. Right now it's going to be the washing up. <laughs> We're all done with lunch and pudding's ready to go. And now for what I've been waiting patiently for, the pudding itself. Mm. Oh, it smells fantastic. And that sauce. Extra. All it needs is a little ice cream or cream. No. <laughs> the taste. It's so easy to do, but so delicious. That's a proper job. 